These craters are what they what look to be like craters. What are they then? So there's things that they call craters, which are holes in the earth, like a bowl shape. And right. then there's little edges kind of up, up above the, the rest of the, the earth around them there. So in one way, it looks like it could have been caused based on an impact from above. Though another way it could be is, say, like a gas bubble from below. And that same kind of shape could be the resulting shape from some sort of phenomenon happening from below just as well. Like a sinkhole. Like a sinkhole. And if it was from, say, a rock, burning rock from outer space, there should be huge, I mean, the, the rock itself should still be there if it caused that big of a depression. And there should also be uh, huge chunks of it everywhere. Yet none of these supposed crater sites have anything of the sort. Uh, you know, no big ball sitting in a hole or even gigantic shards that we can st st still look at. Only, again, little little pieces that they claim. Oh, this is a meteorite, just like they claim the, the moon rocks. And same with the craters on the moon. If you look at the moon with your own eyes or with a telescope, there are potch marks of some kind there. But it's a foregone conclusion to say that they are craters uh, formed during meteorite collisions. I mean, this is just... A, an explanation that you've come up with is a possible explanation, but there's no physical evidence for that. None of us have ever seen a rock come from space and collide with the Earth, make a huge explosion, and then show us the rock sitting there so that we can verify that, yep, that was a big-ass rock that just came from outer space. It doesn't exist. We don't actually have that physical evidence to prove that such a thing exists. So what do we see around the world? These lights that we saw in Russia a few years back and Arizona a few weeks ago, what are these? Well, we've got shooting stars. Like I said, stars aren't actual terra firma. So when you see a light shoot from somewhere to somewhere else, it's simply that. It's simply a light shooting. It's, it's not a rock in outer space coming somewhere. No, no, but the ones in Russia that actually broke school windows and, and it, it it almost felt like, a, like an explosion. Right. And then you've got these ones where you can see from, mostly from Russia, it seems like, from dashboard cams, you'll see right, these right. Bur burning balls of something coming. And yeah, the, they've, they've even uh, cr crashed windows and something. These, I think, are some sort of military thing that they're shooting to make us believe that meteorites exist uh, because they're always coming down at an angle like they've been shot from a plane. If meteorites existed and we were on a spinning ball earth, then meteors should be shooting in every single direction possible, not always from the exact same direction coming down onto the earth. There should be meteorites that go upwards and ones that go diagonally upwards and ones that go horizontal and, and every other type of way, but we don't see that. So I'm quite skeptical of meteorites or asteroids or any sort of thing that they claim is up there floating around and comes down here and destroys dinosaurs, their other myth. <laughs> they like to use their myths in conjunction like that. Two more uh, questions. So, no, I'm sorry, finish your statement. Yes. Uh, so as far as the, the Russian ones, I, I would tend to think those are some sort of military experiment, uh, some sort of weapon or something like this because um, you, you don't see them all over the world you just see them there it seems like it might be something they're working on um, and the craters not sure what those are formed from but again not seeing the evidence that they're from rocks falling from the sky and for shooting stars uh, they say that those are comets or, or, or that's another one they say comets or whatever are are asteroid rock formations that circle around us every so many years but if we're spinning around the sun and the sun spinning around the galaxy and all these motions are happening why would comets have regular uh revolutions that we would see in such a cosmology if the earth was actually making all of those motions we shouldn't ever come up across the same comets again that makes more sense in a geocentric cosmology where everything in the heavens is revolving around us so that it could return at a regular time like Haley's Comet or something like that.
ground outside aren't actually even the meteor. The apparent meteor is this here, a piece of it. Yeah. Looks like metal. It is iron nickel. It's iron nickel? Uh-huh. So tell me about this thing. This is like one it's of the biggest pieces. Piece. This found. is the biggest piece? It's the biggest piece found from the one that made the crater. It weighs 1,406 pounds. This it thing right here is... 92% iron. This is 1,000... 100% nickel. That one is 1,400. This it thing right here is... 92% iron. This is 1,000... 100% nickel. That one is 1,406 pounds. 92% iron, 7% nickel, and about 80 different trace minerals. And it arrived here from the asteroid belt that lies between Mars and Jupiter. This is awesome. Good. This okay. is awesome. I have to film it show my wife. All right. Is that the cool? Next movie Are you like the expert? You've no, been here a while no. or what? No, I'm just a tour guide. Oh, cool. But uh, I've been here a while. The movie will start at 4.30. It's a 10 minute movie. Okay. Doors close automatically, but you still have time to either do the museum. Yeah, or I gotta go check out the big hole. Which way's the hole? Check out the hole. Oh, the crater. To my left, right there okay. where it says crater. Cool. To my left. Crater. So this is a picture of what oh, I'm crater. about to go check out from up in the sky. Yes. Hello, folks. Hey, how's it going? Guys, you're just the arriving. The crater's right over there. The right next there. movie will be at 4.30. Okay, Thank you so much. <clears throat> That's just unbelievable yeah. that that is the piece. Uh-huh. What do you think happened to all of this? Time is running out. Okay, I'm and running. You can do the museum Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Let's go check out Meteor Crater. There it is. Whoa. We should go down in there, huh? We got 30 minutes to hike this massive trail. So there's just a spring. Looks like they were just digging for water. Honestly. This looks like a bunch of thousands of native men together digging for water. That's not true. It's not that big. Guys, I was just in there. Wow. Not only can this happen again, it will happen again unless we choose to do so. Not only can this happen again, it will happen again unless we choose to do so. In our neighborhood, there's a lot big. of other asteroids that are not whizzing there. past What city is that? They the asteroids there. that Guys, it's not that big. I'll go show you right now. We've only surveyed in the video, they put a whole entire city inside of this thing. I mean, they seriously, they, they just put a whole entire fucking city. It's not that big, guys. It's not that big. You can't put a city in there. I mean, I'm telling you, like, that city had, like, gigantic trees and skyscrapers. That's a bush right there. Something more like this. I pay $18 with a discount to come here, and it seems like, other than the, the hole that's not as big as it looks on TV, other than that, um... We're gonna go watch a movie. So, you know, you gotta show me a movie while I'm here at the site about what it means, about what it is. Look at this. Oh gosh. It's a compass, that's for sure. It's a compass. Milky Way home. Oh, compass up there. Quasars. This illustration depicts an artist's conception of current theories about the nature of the universe. Galaxy formation, the edge of the universe. Uh, a photo of painting, guys. How about that one? It's a good one. Science News.
that it happens elsewhere. It's a meteor hitting someone's car. Sure. Sure it is. Put yourself at ground zero. Do not press the red button. I'm at ground zero right now, guys. The incoming meteor created Meteor Crater in less than 10 seconds. The meteor was moving at an incredible speed, about 11 miles or 18 kilometers per second. The power of the blast sent hurricane force winds in all directions and threw about 175 million tons of material out of the crater. Doesn't Most seem that of the way. meteor melted at the shock of impact. Oh, okay. And much of it spread. So where did it go if it melted them? I mean, it really vaporized. Rock. Some of the melted meteor reformed as sand grain sized metallic particles called spheroids. Oh, like hemorrhoids. Spheroids. Look, guys, I found a globe station. Density, angle, earth. Okay, so we got a globe video game here. All right, so select object. Select object? Oh, shit. Impact. I want higher velocity, and I want an angle, and I want some diameter. Go ahead and run simulation now for me. Oh, here's the simulation, guys. I created this. so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video presentation if you did please subscribe to my youtube channel like the video and share it on your favorite social media sites there's a lot more to come so stay tuned and we'll see you back next time